Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick as I can retake of my Radar 115 setup. This kayak is the, uh, I guess, the result of the 2017 season and uh, there was some changes that I've, I've made for the better. Uh, new accessories have come out and I've added to it. Um, I want to add this to my original video um, that, that showed off this boat and the accessories um, and the way I've got it set up. Guys, this is nowhere um, meant to be something of perfection, but I hope that you guys can get some ideas from it and uh, take what you can and uh, hopefully it helps some of you guys with some ideas on setup. Uh, here we go. All right, this is my Wilderness Systems Radar 115. I'm going to start at the nose on one side and work my way back. Um, I've had a lot of questions about accessories and setup questions. Um, so I'm going to go through what I did and again maybe help out anyone that has some questions. Uh, start at the nose. I uh, simply have a tether cord that runs back. Uh, that way if I get out of the boat I can pull it around and wade fish. Um, the Yak Attack, I believe it's called a dog bone GoPro pole. It's only a, a short pole. Uh, as you can see, GoPro mounted to the top. And um, you can put that at all different angles, of course. The um, I have a Lowrance 4 fish finder. Nothing spectacular. And it's powered by the Wilderness Systems. Uh, 15 amp hour uh, lithium battery pack. This thing's pretty cool. It has actually uh, three ports, one for 12 volt and two 5 volt ports for charging accessories. Of course the uh, transducer is mounted in the flex pod uh, at the bottom. If you pull this out, the transducer is mounted at the bottom. Uh, so, of course, the battery pack would go in the, the uh, flex pod when it's in use, just out for the video purposes. Um, big fan of the um, Ram Tube Juniors. They're very versatile uh, spinning rod or um, bait caster setup. I've got three of those, one there, actually, and I've mounted four inch. Uh, slide tracks rails from Wilderness Systems on my seat on both sides. A nice thing about that is if I'm river, river fishing and there's a lot of trees I can angle this up or down uh, however I want. Go back a little bit to the front. The Helix pedal drive completely awesome system. Uh, the very best way to fish period. I replaced the factory pedals on my pedal drive with sealed bearing pedals. Got this from Married Adventure Company. Uh, looks like it's Chester brand. Really a great upgrade to the unit. Uh, I've got the um, a rear mounted Torquedo drive as well. And it is mounted, this is the control unit mounted on a small one inch ram ball setup. That way I can move this around, open my hatch, uh, get to whatever I need. And it's quickly removable, so if I don't want to use the drive that day, I can take it totally off the boat. Underneath the seat, for my phone pouch setup, I have a Yak Gear pouch. Um, this will soon be replaced by some of the new Wilderness System accessory gear pouches. Just what I had at the time. My phone case is tethered off with the uh, with the new Wilderness Systems uh, tethering cord. It's pretty cool. It uh, it'll just retract in and out. The uh, the cord is light, but it seems to be very heavy duty. Um, let's see. Move to the seat. Air Pro Max seat. One of the most the in my opinion the best most comfortable seat out there I've got the, uh, the inflatable lumbar add-on to it uh, great option 
move to the back. Uh, I've got one of the wilderness system accessory pouches on the back. Just a pair of fish grips, dry box in the back, whatever you like. The um, the lift line control for the rudder runs back, and I actually skipped the last the last two mounts. Uh, that's going to throw your lift lines more straight in line with the rudder head and make it easier for you to lift and lower the rudder head. One of my favorites, the Wilderness Systems Kayak Crate. This thing is awesome. Um, I throw all of my quick to get to common items up top. One handed as you can see operation is super easy. Open this up. All kinds of room for gear. I mean I've got boxes loaded up in there as you can tell and I, I took one of the rod holders off and added a um, yak attack hog trough holder to mine this keeps the hog trough out of the way um, really great add-on convenience uh, we'll move around on the rear I have the anchor wizard chute and this is a homemade um, drag chain. It's a solid piece of steel attached to some chain. And uh, it runs up through these slide track tie downs. They're nice and concaved. And you can run your guidelines through those all the way to the front. And this is actually, this is what I use for my retrieve line for my rear anchor. It is nothing spectacular at all. You, they only run about six dollars, but it's a 24-foot dog leash from Harbor Freight. Uh, I've got the um, a Yak Attack paddle holder on this side. So I'm paddling. I have some place to lay it down while I'm standing. Um, Bucks blizzards, and we'll go around. Of course, custom sticker on the rudder. This is my. Um, Homemade version of my Torquedo 403 kit. Uh, basically what you have here is a whole array of items. So I've got the anchor, I've got the rudder, and I've got the Torquedo all on the rear. And I kind of made my own quick setup for a mount, which is basically a flanged 4-inch gear track with some 2-inch bolts, mighty bolts from uh, Yak Attack, and um, thumb screws. So this is super easy to take off. You take these two thumb screws and it slides, the whole unit slides clear off. Um, basically, and what I did here to to alleviate the issue with the rudder getting in way of the the um, cables for the the steer cables for the Torquedo is attached a um, pulley on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. There's a pulley on the bottom of this bar that I run my steer lines through so that it's all on the back side of the rudder. This lets me put the rudder up and down and then what I do is I steer the rudder when I'm using it with a pedal drive I steer with my hand control up front and then I put foot controls uh, on the uh, foot pegs and it runs the torpedo unit. So I actually have two sets of um, steer cables or spectra cord um, running through the boat. And the good thing about the radar is you already have the, um, the cable tubes are already installed in the boat. One for the left side control handle and one for if you want uh, foot controls. Keep moving around. This is my basically my lift line. Super simple. I try to keep everything as simple as possible for my uh, Torquedo unit. So basically all I do for it is pull it up and attach it to a, an eyelet, a gear track eyelet. And now the whole unit's up and free out of the water. Uh, what I would do at this point is, if I want to pedal, I can throw my my rudder down, pedal and fish, 
And basically all I'm going to do is use my Torquedo to get from point A to point B and then fish with my pedals. Torquedo battery and radar, it's like they made it specifically to fit. Uh, you can actually, if I didn't have my plastics bag over there, you can put another battery. Very easy. The um, steer handle for the rudder. This is the um, low profile anchor wizard. If you thought the last one was great, this one's even better. Uh, this thing has a super standy, sturdy <laughs> handle and it has the bearings top and bottom. It's a lot smoother than the old unit. Works fantastic. Um, I've got to use it quite a bit already and there's just there's no better anchoring system out there and um, so this is a super anchor easy anchoring system there's 50 foot of cord on here I put another slide track tie down here to guide my line and all I did is tether a carabiner to my front handle with some paracord and yes I use a pink dumbbell unfortunately that's all they come in from Walmart, but I intentionally use the dumbbells for weights. You can get a 5-pound and an 8-pound. I usually use the 8-pound for deeper water or more windy current conditions. Um, but the 5-pound is pretty standard use for anywhere. And the reason I, I use those is because they're, you get them at Walmart. There's a Walmart in every town. You're going to lose anchors. So if you're in the middle of a tournament, you're in a weekend where you're away from home, you can find these anywhere, and they're cheap. Um, I think I've covered about everything. If you guys have any questions, definitely shoot me a message or comment below. Um, I really love this boat. I know this is a lot of stuff, but I really hope this guy this helps somebody out with some ideas on setups. And um, hey, as always, thank you for watching. Take care.